Hello, people of the internet future. It's me, Michelle Phoenix. You may not remember me from such YouTube videos as Same Song, Different Singers, and Where Did I Put My Reading Glasses? Uh, today I wanted to, sh this morning rather, I wanted to shoot like an awkward video about my feelings on BoxyCharm and Ipsy, as if anyone asked. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I, you may have noticed from my channel that I'm a little hung up on self-care subscription boxes, and I absolutely am. I think it's a wonderful business model um, of something to look forward to every month, and self-care items are all about taking care of yourself. Um, you're the only person that's qualified to take care of yourself. Um, at the moment, I know that uh, uh, many uh, YouTube channels that promote Ipsy and BoxyCharm, um, folks in like, see there's some tree greenery I was hoping would turn fall. But anyway, um, as I was saying, the subscribers that are on YouTube that have promoted Ipsy and BoxyCharm for years, I noticed that maybe they're jumping ship or they think they are. Um, when I joined Ipsy, it was May of this year, 2021, and that was right as they bought out BoxyCharm. Um, I think that, uh, I think it's just business growing pains, and I'm not really sure at this juncture if it's, a, no one is really, uh, over whether it's an actual uh, merger or not, but, you know, BoxyCharm had introduced, I think, back in June, maybe early July, um, Choice, which I know was brand new. Uh, I joined right at the at the merger, um, particularly, uh, please share your thoughts and opinions, but I think that it, the Ipsy buying out BoxyCharm, it really reminds me of, it reminds me of Kmart buying Sears a little bit, and I don't know if that's a really accurate metaphor, but I hope, I hope you enjoy the outdoor noise. I thought it would be a nice touch. It's really peaceful out here. And I was hoping for a little bit of foliage, but we'll see. Uh, so this is like my, the beginning of my coffee talk series. Although I don't have coffee. I drank like six cups already this morning. But I, I wanted to, to opine a little bit about BoxyCharm and Ipsy. Um, I'm just really into self-care subscription boxes. And I, I think that all these changes are actually for the better and I'm probably in the minority on that opinion I I'm brand new to it I know there's others maybe perhaps yourself because you're you're watching my channel that you're into uh, self-care items yourself and I was wondering what you thought is it going downhill because I I really don't think it I really don't think it is boxy and uh, ipsy but I get, then again, I'm fairly new. So here I am with an opinion when I'm new. I, I, I want to stay with it and I want, I want to help promote it. I feel so passionate about just this lovely business model. You know, I've, I've been watching the videos of Michelle Fan, uh, the original founder of Ipsy, and it's, it's, the videos on her channel are so inspirational. And I'm, I'm inspired, I feel very, very passionate about especially with ipsy because ipsy has this strong you know inclusive include everyone feel good about yourself and that's what cosmetics hair care skin care is about taking care of yourself and to receive self pack self care packages every month twice a month um as well as like access to add-on sales it's just a lovely business model that i don't think is going anywhere um, I, I see uh, channels with other subscription boxes like snacks and lifestyle, and I, I really think that some of those, I'm, I'm thinking of specific uh, ones, I think those are a passing fad. But self-care every month, I, I, don't think, I don't think it's temporary. I think it's here to last. Um, you know, this whole uh, custom that we have of, of checking... Um, Ipsy and uh, BoxyCharm boxes online and it's, it, I've met and I've witnessed other people meeting so many people online just bonding over what did you get in your box you know or I like this item I just like that item it reminds me of selling Avon with my grandmother in the 80s uh, this was before uh, this was like decades before Avon devolved into uh, 
this was like decades before Avon devolved into a, um, a multi-level marketing co company. Uh, there's no upline and downline, as they say. Um, it was about uh, women meeting women and bonding over cosmetics and building, building business relationships and friendships. And I see that like an internet version of that right now. And I, I think that's here to stay. So if you're with me, please subscribe, please join in, comment down below what your thoughts are. And I'd love to hear from you. I love watching your unboxings. I, I, love, I love you all. I love those of you with channels where you, you consider your, your subscribers a family. It's so inspiring and I think there's so much to offer in this. And I, again, final thoughts. I don't think Ipsy and Boxy are going down. I, I think they're going up. So thank you for listening and take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.